Greetings Entities and Guardians, my name is Hyperheims, and do you have an outfit that you're proud of? I have quite the couple, but I actually made one for my character a while back for an art collab that's been long passed over, so I'm pretty sure I'm able to show it. I mean, let's be honest with ourselves, you have to take pride in the things that you wear, no matter how it looks. It's not the outfit that makes you, it's you who makes the outfit. Yes, I am a firm believer of that. Anyways, check out this drip. See, I told you this isn't as bad as it looks. <laughs> so if you're familiar with these videos, then you should know what they're all about. The Cookie Run Oven Break YouTube channel recently released a new teaser for the upcoming Cookie Run Oven Break update, and what we usually do here is that we look at the video, analyze anything that we can see within it, and predict what we'll be expecting within the new update of Cookie Run Oven Break. I'm also going to try to look over a few other things on the socials of Cookie Run, like their Twitter, to get a better idea of what we'll be expecting, because to be honest, this teaser doesn't give us much of a whole lot to talk about. Also, this is actually going to be the first time I edit one of these teaser analysis videos on Vegas. This means it's going to be way better in comparison to the ones I made on Windows Movie Maker, or it's going to take me more than four years to release this video like it was Doors Part 2. Like, please subscribe to your local pub, there's better videos on there. Oh, and lastly, I need to mention that nearly everything that I say are just going to be predictions and theories, meaning that there's a high chance that what I say won't actually happen within the game. These videos are just made for fun and are ways to help me and probably you to be hyped for what's coming in the new update. But with that being said, I hope you put on your most fashionable outfit, your pajamas, or literally anything at all because I can't judge you by how you look despite everything that I just said because we have some things to talk about. The video is titled, Let's Take a Peek at the New Cookie, Fashion Week, Project Cookie Runway Update Teaser, with the thumbnail of a cookie through a window. Also, the description doesn't tell us much other than showing us a little sewing needle emoji. I know my browser doesn't show it, but I copy and pasted it into the browser and it literally showed me sewing needle emoji. The video starts off with us in front of a place called Romantic Sugar, which was written in a beautiful looking font and its overall design is all in adorable pinks and blues. We then step inside the store to see everything that's happening inside, which includes a pink sewing machine with a creamy and flower-like design working on a blue diamond shaped design fabric, with a cute pink hat over on the left of the screen and a pink dress to our right. The scene then zooms out to reveal a few other things such as a dresser that's holding up the sewing machine, a chair more to the left with a higher chair and a set of dresses all the way to the top left, and a set of items over to the bottom right like handbags and flowers. We then look through the window of the place and see the cookie walking over from the left looking cheery. They then look at us in confusion and is immediately filled with pain and malice as the curtains immediately close on us. Text would then appear saying, if it's not cute, what's the point? The music changes to more pop-like music with some camera flashes appearing and then we get the text that reads, Cookie Run Oven Break, Fashion Week, Project Cookie Runway, coming February 26, 10 p.m., GMT plus 9. By the way, Cookie Run did also release a short to tease who the new cookie is, but it doesn't reveal to us much other than what the potential design of the cookie will look like. Well, with what we've seen, there's something I can already guarantee. You wore the wrong outfit. I mean, did you see how this cookie looked at you? I know I said you could literally wear anything, but that doesn't involve your birthday suit, you plumbing degenerate. So this update is going to be based off some piping hot fashion with this cookie being our cookie of the hour, aka the protagonist cookie that we'll be focusing on for the story of this update. Now, interestingly enough, I think this is the only cookie that we'll be receiving in this update because instead of getting another cookie, we'll instead be having a cookie be updated for us. Let me explain. Recently, Cookie Run ran a contest for who should be receiving a magic candy for those cookies who haven't had one yet, and our winner happened to be Mint Chaka Cookie. So maybe there's a chance that Mint Chaga Cookie will be in the story, but this new dressmaking cookie will be the one that we'll mainly be focusing on. I can confirm this because of a tweet Mi'kmaq, one of the community managers, made on Twitter. He said, we'll release a new trial for Mint Chaka Cookie alongside his magic candy in mid-March, with some concept art to show alongside of it. However, I'm pretty sure we already know how the story is going to go down just by the expression of the cookie themselves. When we first see them, they look super cheery and adorable. However, the moment that they look outside to see us, they immediately go like, oh lord, there's another idiot here to waste my time. I should've just taken the day off, I'm outta here. It's definitely clear that, at least behind closed doors, they're not a bad person. They just have to force on a happy face because it fits the whole cutesy style of the place they work at. But even with that little bit of information that we discovered, what would the story generally be about? Personally, I think the story is going to play out like this. This new cookie is probably just having a chill time making outfits, but then an upcoming runway fashion contest happens which causes many cookies to wear fashionable dresses to want to win. And because of this, tons of cookies go to visit this cookie's boutique to try and get themselves a fashionable outfit in time for the contest. However, the orders keep piling up and this new cookie is genuinely getting sick of the amount of orders that they're getting. However, they can't say no because the cookies are giving the boutique hot business and they know that making the dresses perfectly will give this place a better reputation. Now bear in mind, that this cookie is most likely a sort of perfectionist with their quote, if it's not cute, what's the point, proving this. They want to make sure that everything is cute and adorable. If it even looks a bit messed up, they'll be disappointed in it and will probably most likely scrap it. However, that's problematic because scrapping an outfit will most likely cause them working on everyone's outfit to be late for the contest, disappointing everyone who asks for a dress. Will this cookie be able to make everyone's dresses in time for the contest or will this cookie break under the pressure? I mean, I believe that they can make it through. Nothing bad ever happens in Cookie Run, right? 
So in regards to skill, what would this new cookie even do? My assumption is that it would be a mix between mango cookie skill and chocolate bonbon cookie skill. Mango cookie skill revolves around mango cookie transporting cookies to specific islands that best match that cookie. Chocolate bonbon cookie skill has you matching an outfit until chocolate bonbon cookie likes it. I'm assuming this new cookie skill receives an order from a certain cookie and they'll have to choose the correct outfit that best matches that cookie. If you choose the correct outfit, you get more points for your efforts. Choose wrong and you'll get less points. Also, their magic candy might cause the skill to either have the dresses look more valuable and reward more points, or cause some sort of fabric to fall into the air during your run and the cookie will have to collect it for extra points. Now for the pet, it could be a wide variety of things. However, I don't think it would be too far off for the pet to be a pair of sewing scissors which will occasionally, and hear me out now, cut a portion of the background out and giving it to our new cookie for points. It's no doubt that there's going to be a new treasure released alongside with the new cookie, but what would it be? Well, I think it would make sense for the new treasure to be a sewing machine, which I at least think, after a certain number of jellies are collected, the sewing machine starts working on a special jelly outfit that when completed will provide a good number of points. The last thing I want to talk about is the potential for Mint Chocolate Cookie's magic candy. Personally, if we take what we know already from his skill, being that he just causes an absurd amount of coins to spawn, I feel like his magic candy will have cookies occasionally cheering for him and throwing coins at him as if they're happy for his musical performance and they want an encore from him. Considering that this update is all about the cool, cute, and fashionable dresses, how could the possibilities of costumes not be considered? The cookies that should be put up for consideration would be cookies who have a fashion set, so I'd immediately say chocolate bonbon cookie and sour belt cookie. I'd also throw in mint chocolate cookie and cheesecake cookie because of how fancy the two look. Even cookies that look like distinguished gentlemen like Rogue Fort cookie and Earl Grey cookie would be good to put up there. Does it seem like basic choices? Yeah, sure, but you can't deny that they would all look fashionable nonetheless. Now finally, we're going to talk about some of the new events and things that we might get within the new update. Now if a new game mode is going to be implemented for this event, I think it'll involve us running in specific levels to either have us running to get a certain amount of points, or have us collect specific types of jellies depending on the cookie's order, which will help us pass certain missions after collecting those jellies. Completing these missions will not only unlock rewards for us, but unlock more of the story as well. Also, there might be bonus missions that will give us extra rewards for running with certain cookies like the ones I mentioned with the costumes. They're definitely going to be giving us a new Meet the Cookie event with a new cookie this update since they've been doing that every update now, so it's basically guaranteed. Oh, and you can't forget about the Treasure Mastery, because they do those practically every update now as well, and it's most likely that they're going to be doing it with a new treasure or another one from the past. Now, this might sound like a reach, but I feel like there's going to be an exclusive event about cookies wanting to order outfits, and you'd have to run in either Breakout, Trophy Race, or some other game mode to receive points and complete those missions. For completing those missions, you can get certain rewards, or you get specific coins that you can spend on certain items in the event's shop, like more of the new cookie, or other things of the sort. New daily gifts are going to be given out, and there's going to be a new set of jellies for purchase, there's going to be a $10 pet costume, and they're going to be giving away a coupon code for Rainbow Cubes at the end of the update reveal trailer. Now there's one last thing I need to say at the end of all of these videos, and it's pretty obvious. Spend your event exclusive items and finish any event that's still available before the update arrives. When it comes, they're gone for good. But what do you all think? Do you think some of these theories might actually be true, or do you think that I'm genuinely insane? And also, what do you think about the new update coming up? Be sure to tell me down in the comment section below. But for now, if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it, and I'll just share this video with your friends who enjoy my Kicker Run content, and if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. I also have merch available if you want to check it out, but I'm not forcing you to buy anything at all. I also have a Discord down in the description. It's called the Hype News Hub. It's a fun time down there, and we're trying to expand each and every single day. And last but certainly not least, there's another link down in the description that leads to a Twitter post where it gets 10,000 likes. I can get the Kicker Run YouTube set for absolutely free. But above all else, I will see you and Guardians in the next video. Hail the Hype News.